In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a new or rebranded logo for your record label or artists and show you the best apps to use as well as a hot tip for creating single artwork. When thinking about the design of your logo, remember you're usually looking for just a name and a symbol for your logo. Sometimes it's the same thing, but having a symbol can be useful for avatars and profile pics and for social media. And of course it looks really good on merchandise. While it's tempting to get a logo in color, which most businesses would be looking for, it's best to get your logo designed in a simple black and white background. This is because as a record label, your logo needs to be flexible as you'll be using it across so many formats on artwork, uh, in merchandise, on websites. If you have set colors, this might clash from a design point of view when using it elsewhere. And also, if it looks good as black and white, you know it's gonna look good when you do want to add color later. Now, this isn't a hard and fast rule, but it is recommended. Make sure that whoever does the logo for you provides you with the final artwork in an EPS, PNG, and PDF format. A professional designer should send them in a zip file when signed off. There are three options when considering where to get your logo designed. Option one, hire a professional designer. They will ask for an idea of what you want and you can send sketches, but it is in worth investing in a good designer who has a portfolio of work that you like. A typical professional freelancer designer that has done logos for professional artists and labels will cost upwards of around 700 pounds to a thousand dollars. If you get a younger, less established designer, you can spend around $500. However, it's important that you still make sure you like their portfolio and that you have a proper discussion with them about what you want. It's easier and less time consuming to create something when you have been provided a clear brief. If you're vague with what you want, then there is a high chance that the artist might produce something that you don't like and it will take longer to refine it and find something that you do like. When using a designer, the typical procedure is one, they'll ask you for a range of logos of other brands that you already like. This is your brief. Secondly, they'll then create a range of ideas for you to choose from. Thirdly, you'll pick one, they will refine it. Fourth, you'll usually get about two to three revisions as part of the process. Finally, they send the final design in common use formats that I mentioned earlier. Option two, post your design request on a freelance website. Using a freelancing website allows you to get a range of proposals and mock-ups. Some of the popular websites are fiverr.com, freelancer.com, designcrowd.com, and 99designs.com. These websites allow you to post a proposal of what you want. For example, get a logo designed, or you can run a logo design competition and you'll get a whole host of artists providing you with examples which they think will fit the brief. These sites will also allow you to create a voting poll link which you can send to friends, to public, for people to vote and decide. In fact, the Label Machine logo was designed using Design Crowd and they voted for it by my colleagues and it cost around $120. Before we crack on, if you like what you're seeing here in the video, make sure you click on the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this on how to start, run and grow your own independent record label, hit that subscribe button too. Option three for creating a logo is to use an online logo maker. This option is probably the cheapest, but you do have to have a good eye for design. These websites are pretty sophisticated. These days I've used them for early artist development logos before as well. The two most popular ones are logojoy.com and free logo design, or Canva now has one built into the platform and the Adobe Express app has a logo function built in there as well. You simply put in your label name and ask you to pick uh, existing logos that you like and then gives you some options. You can tweak them before saving and it normally costs around $50 to download a high resolution PNG and EPS version. You might also want to get an animation of your logo or a video visualization of your logo to use in promo videos. For example, at the start of your YouTube videos that you want to upload. A decent animator will cost around $170 to $250 and you can find good video animators on Freelancer and Fiverr to do this too. And here is a great tip. Use logo makers to design single or album artwork. Simply use the name of the single in place of the brand name, create your own single name logo and then put it over an awesome photo or graphic. Job done. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.